Fast HTML is a new Python web framework designed to help you build fast, scalable web applications with minimal effort. Unlike larger frameworks like Django or Flask, Fast HTML is lightweight and straightforward, making it ideal for small to medium-sized projects. One of its standout features is that it's written entirely in Python. So, if you already know Python, Fast HTML is a breeze to learn and use. The framework is also component-based, which allows you to create reusable elements, saving you time and keeping your code clean. Fast HTML is not only fast, but also highly flexible, meaning you can customize it to fit specific project needs. And the best part? It's incredibly easy to set up. Let's take a quick look at how it compares to other popular frameworks. In terms of complexity, Fast HTML is simpler than Flask and Django. It's lightweight, easy to use, and offers a high level of customization, giving you more control over your project. If you're a developer looking for a pure Python solution without the complexity of larger frameworks, Fast HTML could be the perfect fit. To set up Fast HTML, you'll need the following Python 3.7 or newer, PIP, which is Python's package installer, and a code editor or IDE of your choice. Now let's install Fast HTML. Open a terminal or command prompt and type the following command pip install Python Fast HTML. Press Enter to begin installing the framework. Once the installation is complete, we can create our first Fast HTML app. Start by creating a new file called main.py. Then add this simple code inside. Let's break down what's happening in this code. The first line imports everything from fasthtml.common. This brings in all the essential components to build our web app. Next, we initialize our app with fast app, which sets up the app and routing system. App represents the app itself, and RT is the router that handles different URLs or routes. After that, we define a route for the home page slash using at RT slash. This is the URL path that users visit. Inside this function, we return a div element that contains a P paragraph with the text, hello world. Notice we also add hx get at equal slash change. This is an HTMX attribute that sets up an interactive behavior to load new content when clicked. Finally, we call serve, which runs the server. Now save the file and go back to your terminal. Run the app by typing bash python main.py. The terminal will print out a link to your running app, something like bash http localhost. Open your browser and visit that link. You should see a simple page that says hello world. Next, let's add some interactivity. Go back to the code and add a second route like this. Now when you click on the text, it changes to nice to be here. This is done using HTMX, which allows us to handle small updates to the page without refreshing the entire site. It's a powerful yet simple way to get started with building interactive web applications in Python. For more examples and core concepts, you can check the official Fast HTML docs, link in the description. If you're excited to start your own Fast HTML project, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content.